This is a review of the Snapper HD 24 inch cordless hedge trimmer. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the pros and cons of the tool, as well as show it to you in action. As always, please see the information section below if you'd like to skip to a specific point in the video. Let's start with the pros. Oh yeah. The pros of this cordless hedge trimmer include steel blade, lock off trigger for safety, rotating handle, the handle rotates 90 degrees in either direction for easier side cuts. Although I'll admit I'm indifferent to this feature given I rarely take the time to stop and rotate it. There's a steel tip protector, which is helpful when the tip is between shrubs and there's limited visibility. I, I hit the bolt of a fence once with an electric trimmer. Oh, that was the end of that trimmer. Oh, crab cakes. Comes with a protective sheath for storage and transport. The blade coasts to a stop relatively quickly once the trigger is released. There's a full parts list available should I ever need a new blade assembly and or decide to take it apart. That's just what I do. The tool is powered by a Briggs & Stratton 48 volt battery if, you already, if you're already invested in the Snapper 48 volt platform. The battery locks in tightly. There's no annoying player vibration. And I should mention I'm partial to Briggs & Stratton as a company because I have a 30 year old gas powered lawnmower that still starts up on the first pull. Yeah, buddy. Charge time versus runtime is acceptable. I get about 60 minutes of runtime with a fully charged two amp hour battery, which takes roughly one hour to charge. That's from no bars. And you can also get a five amp hour battery for longer runtime. And of course you get the benefits of any battery powered tool. There's no electrical cord to cut, no fuel to mix, no fumes. It's easy to start and quieter than any gas powered tool. Now for the cons. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Brushed motor technology. Seriously? Yeah. I don't know why they advertise that. Like brush motors are the latest things. Hey Snapper, we've graduated to brushless motors. They provide more power, longer run times, and the tools last longer. Yeah. Anyway, I guess the folks at Snapper just like that brushed motor smell. Other cons, this thing is heavy. By itself, the tool weighs roughly 7.3 pounds and roughly 10 pounds with a two amp hour battery. Oh, you yeah. won't be doing any one arm cuts with this. So I won't be balancing on that limb at the top of the crab apple tree, holding on with one hand while the other swings the trimmer to get those branches I can't reach with the ladder. Yeah, I do that with my lighter 22 inch black and decker cordless, but don't try that at home. And strapping a five amp hour battery, this tool's gonna be even heavier. Just for reference, it's almost as heavy as my neighbor Tommy's 24 inch Milwaukee M18 fuel cutter. It's model 2726-20. And that thing weighs 8.6 pounds, before strapping in a four pound HD 12 high output battery. Oh my back. The Milwaukee's more of a professional landscaper's tool though. This thing is made for residential use. You may have noticed I didn't provide any specifications on strokes per minute or maximum diameter of a branch the tool can handle. That's because Snapper doesn't provide that info. I guess it's a secret. And while it's probably not important to some folks, I like having a basis of comparison when shopping and a basis that doesn't require purchasing a dozen tools and putting them head to head. Yeah. I can tell you that other than the weight, I am pleased with the tool's performance on our shrubs and I had no issue cutting through quarter inch dried branches. Even as the battery faded, the cuts were pretty clean and that will likely change as the blade dulls over time. Okay, let's see the tool in action. And as you watch me demonstrate the tool, just know that I am by no means any expert when it comes to trimming hedges or form. I'm slow and meticulous, and despite the occasional passerbys who request that I trim the hedges in the shape of elephants, Disney characters, or this, whatever this is, and despite the occasional input from my other half to shape things more naturally, I've only mastered two shapes. There's the gumdrop and the modified Hershey's Kiss, which is just an upside down gumdrop. Now I'm going to speed things up so you don't get bored. However, should you get bored watching me hack our bushes, see the information section below and jump to the wrap up. As I told you, I'm meticulous. And after my incredible effort to perfect this gumdrop, my better half yelled down from the window that she wants the shrubs to have a more natural shape, which is why I storm off.
On to my next victim. That was one of those quarter-inch branches. They're no problem. Keep in mind, I'm going for more natural on this one, but again, I'm not capable. Gumdrops or kisses. Does this look more natural? No, it doesn't. And I just don't know when to call it quits, so I'm just gonna keep going. Next victim. In classic passerby form, some random person asks me what I'm doing. Seriously, man, I'm just using this head trimmer to take the shrub's temperature, and I'm making a video of it. Here's your sign. <laughs> That's a car talk reference. I miss those guys. Here I'm using my favorite snapper blower. You should see a link to my review of it in the upper right-hand corner if you're interested. My next victims are lilac and neon flash spirea, which will bloom again in the late summer if I trim them after they've bloomed. You'll notice I use drop gloss and that keeps the clippings out of the mulch. This holly bush is pretty hard to kill. I hack it up every few years and it should be trimmed in the middle of winter. However, who wants to get out a trimmer in the middle of winter? I have to point out the planter on the right side of the screen. I love that thing. Looks like a chia pet. As I mentioned, I'm meticulous, super meticulous, perhaps even OCD. All right, buddy, give it a rest. There's no undo button. Now for my Edward scissor hands. I trimmed this bush that wasn't doing so well to begin with into oblivion. After finishing all of our shrubs, and I didn't show you the entire adventure, I still had battery power left in a single battery, so I went to the neighbor's house and I trimmed their lilac, with their permission, of course. Yeah, I kind of butchered their shrub. <laughs> Looks like a partial snuffle up It's terrible. So I avoided them for months until I could make it up to them by shoveling their driveway. We're all good now. Let's talk about maintenance. Other than keeping the blade clean and blowing out the vents, there's not much to do. Regarding the warranty, for consumer use, the trimmer comes with a 36-month warranty and the charger and battery come with a 24-month warranty, so keep your receipt. In the case of commercial use, that means anything other than residential use, for example, income producing or rental purposes, there's no warranty at all, which gives testament that this is not intended for professional landscapers, or at least that's my takeaway, which brings me to price. For the bare tool only, the price is high and comparable to pro-level tools. So if you're invested in other platforms like DeWalt Milwaukee or Makita, this may not be the best choice for you. And surprisingly, Snapper's 82 volt version of this tool is currently less expensive. Uh -huh. hmm. Go figure. To wrap up, this tool works fine for our yard. Is it my favorite hedge trimmer? No, I honestly got it because I have the 48 volt blower, which I really like, and I wanted another battery. 
If you're looking to cut the cord on your hedge trimmer and you're already invested in the, the Snapper 48 volt platform, I'd say go for it. If you're not, there are many great trimmers on the market in the same price range, some with brushless motors and others smaller, lighter, and less expensive. You'll need to weigh the pros and cons for yourself though and figure out if it's the right tool for you. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do me a favor and like it and please subscribe. That always helps me out. Thanks so much for watching. Big shot, damn party.